Hello, I'm Lin Sher and I'm the European consultant to Koshu of Japan, otherwise known as KOJ. So for people who don't know what Koshu is, could you just give us a quick rundown of the great variety and Japan regions? Koshu is an indigenous uh, Japanese grape variety. Its origins go back as far as the Silk Route, so 700 years BC. Um, is, as I said, Venus Minifera um, is a white grape variety and is grown 90% of the plantings in uh, the province of Yamanashi in Japan. And characteristically, it seems very, very light, lightly aromatic variety. Um, we talked about the problem in the, not the vinification, but in the vineyards, it's quite problematic. Could you just quickly explain that? Yes, um, the, the grape variety is grown in an area which uh, receives about 80% of its rainfall during the growing season of the grape. So from that point of view, the um, producers are very challenged with humidity. But um, it's, um, it's a great variety which, if you persevere with it, I think does yield great results. Um, it falls into the lightly light, aromatic grape varieties. Um, so, say, compared to a variety like Sauvignon Blanc, it's much, much more, as Jancis Robinson would say, zen in character. It seemed to be very subtle to me. It has to, if I had to say it was similar to something, I would say probably the structure of a Vina Verde with maybe a little bit of a finish of a Manzanilla, slightly saline. Would you, would you expand on that? Yes, absolutely. It's, it often has a salty, what I call sort of almost crushed oyster shell type finish. Um, Vigno Verde, maybe without the bubbles, some of the Vice Burgunders or, or Pinot Blancs from the northern part of Italy. Um, it probably is similar to, to those, but often has a slightly salty finish. And stylistically, it seems to fit very well with Japanese food. Do, are there other possibilities, do you think, in the UK on trade? Absolutely. Yesterday, um, we had a luncheon at Hibiscus Restaurant where Chef Claude Bossini had particularly tried to put non-Japanese foods together with, uh, with kosher, but very, very carefully thought through. So the, the combinations were superb. Ranging, ranging from Dawson Grab to Foie Gras um, and really had thought very carefully about them and the combinations were superb. And quantities are quite small and prices are comparatively quite high. Um, what sort of restaurants do you think it really has the most potential for in the UK? I think it will always be a, um, a niche, it will always be a niche product because because of the price and obviously uh, land is the most expensive commodity in Japan so it is expensive to grow koshu but I think that people who are looking for something a little bit different um, uh, will be happy to, to have koshu with, with, with a wide variety of different foods. And um, you mentioned that it's available from Selfridges, a couple of lines and also do you know where else it's available in the UK currently? Um, it's available mostly in, in restaurants for example Yashin restaurant just off High Street Ken, it's available in, in no in Zuma, in Roca, um, and we're hoping that with the new importers, some of whom have only just recently come on board, that will be available in a lot more uh, restaurants um, and become just slightly more mainstream, albeit in a niche segment. And um, where can people find out about more? Is there a Koshu website? There is a Koshu website, www.koshu.japan. That's great, thank you very much.